to help a child of man to attain his full formation as a man, if man were that kind of a queer animal capable of science and with no spirit, which is fancied by most contemporary philosophers, a bee, a beaver, or a wolf having conversations and making atom bombs, education should be concerned with training him in specialized skills, symbolic logic, and adjustment to the environment. But if man is a fleshly creature endowed with spiritual intelligence, a person called to exercise and conquer freedom, education has to train him in the humanities. But what does this word humanities mean? Does it mean composing Latin verses, sitting down on a cozy study lined with bookshelves to read Epictetus and Montaigne, or airing opinions on who was the author of Shakespeare's plays, and what was the first date of the first edition of Proust's novels? That's a pleasant ideal, but reserved, I fear, for old professors in the short stories of young novelists. I submit that the humanities are those disciplines which make man more human, or nurture in man his nature as specifically human, because they convey to him the spiritual fruit and achievements of the labor of generations, and deal with things which have been worth, have, are worth being known for their own sake, for the sake of truth, for the sake of beauty. Such things bring to us, in one way or another, the impact of the transcendentals, and oblige us to think really, or at the level of universality. Knowledge of these things helps man to advance toward liberty, fosters in him civilized life, and is by nature in tune with the mind's natural aspiration to wisdom.